Kat here, and today we have a quick 20 minute strength only workout. Now shout out to Michelle for requesting this. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. Now I'm going to be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and a pair of 10 pounds. Remember to use whatever weight is best for you. Alright, let's get started. Roar! Alright guys, let's warm up nice and easy. Let's start out with some back lunges. So, you're going to step your leg back, sink straight down, and then switch. Now, if you have bad knees, if this really is not for you, you can always take a chair, hold on, step back, go as low as you can without pain, and then bring it back. Okay, so I know there's quite a few people there where it's just no bueno, no bueno. And in my workouts, I do like to give quite a few modifications, so I don't want you to be scared by the moves that I show you at first, okay? So just do your best, go at your own pace. This is your workout, your workout is a wonderful 36 degrees here Fahrenheit in Wisconsin and I am in the garage. <laughs> Go ahead, shake it out. Woo. All right, arm crisscrosses. I just filmed the workout we had from last week so I'm still a little bit warm. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll stay that way. If not, you'll see me with a long sleeve shirt <laughs> soon enough. All right, three, two, one, and go ahead, roll out those shoulders. Keep your core strong. You might feel a few crinkle crackles. And go ahead, shake it out. Let's get the other side, or backwards. I know this looks really funny. I'm not a hip hop dancer, so it doesn't even look cool. <laughs> Whatever, do it again. Let's go one more, and go ahead, Woo. shake it out. All right, nice and easy, regular squats. Get into that squat position. Everyone's squat position is a little bit different depending on their hips, depending on the mobility. So do what's best for you. Just make sure you're pressing that weight midfoot to heel. Keep your chest up, keep your head up, sink down. Then squeeze your butt up. Sink down, squeeze it. Let's go three more on this. Last two. One more. And go ahead and bounce it. Bounce it, shake it. I'm gonna get some butt kickers in here. Now, if you're really not into cardio, they are like, hey, you didn't sign up for that. Go ahead, <laughs> nice and easy, kick that butt without doing the jump. Keep going, going. Nice job, guys. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, shake it out. I'm gonna go into an inchworm, so I'm gonna crawl forward. Sink down, crawl forward, bring it down to the knees, and then nice knee push up, press yourself back up, and bring it up. Now, if you're more advanced, go ahead, do a regular push up. I'm not stopping you. I would never. I would never. So do a regular push up if that is best for you. Bring it up. Oh, yeah. Let's go two more. Walk forward, press it up. Back up. Woo! Last one. Last one. Here we go. Here we go. Warming up that chest, those shoulders, those abs, and everything else in between. All right. Go ahead and bounce it out. Last one. Let's go ahead and do some side lunges. We do a lot of forward and back motion. Gotta get the side motion in too. So step to the side, sink down, bring it up. Let's alternate. Step to the side. Press again, midfoot to heel, keep both feet on the ground. Push your hips back, push your butt back. This leg is straight. And bring it back, and back. Nice job, guys. Try to see if the camera's battery is okay. Well, only time will tell. It's in time, bring it up. Other side. Let's go one more on each side, and then we're gonna get started. And then, last one. Sing it down, bring it up, bounce it out. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, it's hard, it's hard, All right, guys, 10 seconds. Push up to plank twist is our first move. Again, just like in the warm up, you can modify. You can do the push up on your knees instead. So let's start off, right leg push up position. Keep your core strong. You got that push up, come up, twist to the opposite side, elbow. And bring it back, bring it up. You can do a kick under if you really feel like it. <laughs> if you're feeling like kicking, go ahead. Another option, remember, 
Come down to the knees. And if you're wondering how to do the plank twist, if you can, you're going to try to come up to the feet just to add your plank twist. Keep that core strong. Woo. Oh yeah. Almost there. Uh. Nice job, guys. If you can, try to touch that knee to that elbow. Oh man, okay. Next up, we have a side lunge to a back lunge. Now I'm gonna grab at least one weight. I'm gonna grab one of the 15s. So, stay on the same leg. You're gonna step to the side with that right leg, sink down, bring it up, try to stabilize, and then go into that back lunge. Stabilize, knee up, same leg. So the reason I have this dumbbell in this left hand, it doesn't get in the way. <laughs> Doesn't get in the way when I do this side lunge. Push your butt back, stabilize, and sink down. Oh yeah. Push your butt back. Now if you're like, why am I out of breath? Legs are huge muscle groups. It's requiring a ton of work for your body. Requiring a ton of oxygen to be moved to these um, muscles. So, makes sense if you're feeling it. Like, this wasn't supposed to be cardio. <laughs> All right, so if you're gonna stay with the dumbbell in this hand, we're gonna stabilize on our right leg. What we're gonna do is single leg squat. So bend that knee, bring it up, roll your shoulder blade back, curl, bring it down, sink it down. Don't reach with the dumbbell. We just want to move um, and bend at the knee. Bend the knee, keep your back nice and flat. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always stabilize with most of the weight still in that front leg. Sink down, bring it up. Again, most of the weight's in that stabilizing leg, and then add that curl in. Okay, so it's always an option for you. When the going gets tough, you're tougher. <laughs> Oh my god, that should be my jingle before every single workout we do. When the going gets tough, you're tougher. <laughs> I'm going to lose all my subscribers. Okay, go to the other side. So we're back to that side lunge, and then back lunge. Again, really important to incorporate these lateral movements. We do so much forward and back, and I'm sure in your other workouts that you do throughout the week, it's a lot of forward and back motion. We want to make sure we get these lateral muscles. Woo! Sink down. Bring it up. Sinkies. Bring it up. And back. And up. And up. I am hungry. <laughs> that is always a common theme in my workouts. Especially when I film two workouts, but the second one I'm like, I'm hungry. It's even worse if it's like, when you start the first workout, you just get started and you're like, it's time to eat. <laughs> okay guys, so stabilize on the left leg this time. <sighs> Take your time. One leg might be more challenging than the other, and that's totally okay. Um, just make sure you listen to your body and you modify where you need to. You can always drop the weight down to a lighter weight. Keep it going, guys. After this, we'll give lower body a little break. We'll do some rear duck flies because it's super, super important to get the back of those shoulders. There are three parts of the shoulder, the front, lateral, and rear delts. Whoa! Oh my goodness. And if you fall like that, just take it out. Um, a lot of people, they tend to do the front and lateral parts of the shoulder, but they neglect the rear delt and they end up with shoulder pain and really bad posture. Just remember, with good posture comes good health. So you always want to make sure you get that good posture in, even if that means dropping the intensity to your workouts, which took me a while to learn. <laughs> All right, guys, feet close together. Bend the elbow slightly. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now, what am I squeezing? So, rear delts, right here. Back of the shoulder. You want to make sure you bring it out far enough. You're not down here. You're bringing it out like you have wings, and really not squeezing 
gain that mind muscle connection. Super important. Control too. Control it on the way down. Nice job, guys. Oh, baby. Next move is going to be really fun. I'm excited about it. <laughs> you know what that means. Squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Real wide arms. Okay. So, bring your dumbbells like this together. I'm going to elevate my heels on them. What we're going to be doing is we're squatting, but we're putting a yoga twist to it. So, I'm going to bring my hands into prayer. Squat down, twist, bringing my elbow to knee. Bring it back up. Twist. Try not to have your knees collapsing like this. If it's too much to add the twist, I just want you to squat down, bring it up. You'll find when you elevate your heels like this, there's a lot more emphasis on those quads. Take it slow, it doesn't have to be about speed. I have to actively think sometimes, at least for the adding the twist, to make sure my knees aren't touching because it's really easy to lose track of that. My quads are definitely burning though. Whew. That nice twist in. You don't need to though, but it is fun. Okay, high push-ups are next. These are pretty challenging. So, I'm gonna give you a few options. I'll show you most advanced first. Come to plank, down dog. Walk your hands back even more. Bring the crown of the head. Down. I'm having my hands facing forward, pressing to my palms, fingertips. You can widen out your stance if you want greater motion, greater range of motion. Now, if that's too much for you, like cat, absolutely not. You're gonna stick with shoulder press. Keep your core strong. Arms are at 90. Press up. Now, when you do this, make sure you're not hyperextending the spine. You're not going like this, and also make sure your wrists are straight and they're not. In your back like this, okay? I always, uh, it's more important to demonstrate for you guys to make sure you're not hurting yourselves. It's super important. Okay, so you should again feel that in your shoulders. And curl, squat, negative curl. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna grab my 15s. Okay, so roll your shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna curl. Hold it here, front squat, bring it back, slowly come down, negative. Ooh, time under tension, baby. So curl, squat down, bring it back. When you squat down, your elbows are gonna come forward, most likely. So we'll lose some of that bicep, but then when you reset, bring it back, and then add the negative. I'll show you that side view. So curl, sink down. Bring it back, back, slowly come down. So bringing those elbows back a little bit more when we come back up, that's gonna make sure we put that tension back on the bicep. Okay, our DLs are next, we gotta get those hamstrings. So feet are close together like in chair pose. Keep your back flat. You wanna push your butt back, bend the knees slightly and hinge from the hips. I like to trace my legs with my thumbs. Squeeze shoulder blades together at the top. Make sure you're not, again, hyperextending the spine. So, push your butt back, bend the knees slightly. Trace your legs. It should feel like a stretch in those hamstrings, the back of the legs. Neck is nice and neutral. Bring it up, squeeze, bring it down. Make sure your back is flat. That means your upper back and your lower back. I see a lot of this. None of that, okay? That's where hinging from the hips comes really in handy. Bring it back. Woo! Nice job, guys. We're almost there. All right, guys, so single leg deadlift and row is next. Really working on that posterior chain. So what we're gonna do is grab one weight, left hand, we're gonna stabilize on the right leg, Bend the knees slightly, again, you're leading with the hips. Hinge from the hips. Once you're down here, you're gonna row back and then bring it back up. So what I mean by row back, I mean you're bringing it back towards the hip. None of this, don't bring your elbow out. You want it right next to the body. 
You want to grow it back, so you really target those lats. Okay, so nice and easy. You should really start to feel this in those hamstrings if you don't already, especially with the combination of the RDL we just did. Whoop! Take your time. Stabilizing, baby. And bring it back. Nice job, guys. Sink down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we have the other side. Stop blinking at me. My water bottle is making it look like I have a low battery. So it's super disorienting. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Keep your hips as straight as you can. Bend that knee slightly. Lean down. Add that row. Bring it back. If it's too much to do that, you can stick with RDLs. Again, do one arm though. Step back in the lunge and then add a row. Okay, so it's always an option if you need it. After this, we'll be working front and rear, or front and um, ah, lateral parts of the delts. Almost there, guys. doing so much. We only have four moves after this. Full body, baby. We're getting everything today. All right, so front raise to T-arms. If this is jarring, if you feel a pinch in your shoulders, do not do this movement the way that I am doing it. So front raise, T-arm, back, and down. If it's too much, have your elbows, or have your hands slightly in front, and then turn it and then bring it out to the side like this. Hopefully that doesn't hurt you. So make sure you listen to your body. Make sure you're not bringing your traps into this one. Traps are right here, so you're not shrugging like this. None of that shrugging business. Keep going, guys. Oh, yeah. Keep it nice and controlled. Up, back. And down, up, back, and down, we're almost there. Stay with me. Okay, so inchworm to kick under. We're bringing it back from the warm up, bringing that inchworm back. Okay, so inchworm, crawl on the plank. From here, you're gonna kick under, kick under, bring it back. And then bring it back up all the way. Don't forget to come up all the way. Walk forward. Kick under. Kick under. If this is too much for you, what I want you to do is start here. Crawl forward. Come into a plank. And then you can twist or you can drive your knee in and then bring it back. Okay? So that is an option for you. You gotta start somewhere. Oh yeah. And bring it back. And down. Um, oh shoulders. The shoulders, they love it. Alright guys. Two more. Two more. Reverse crunch, 10 flutter kicks. So ab movement. After this we have a lower back movement, which is part of the core as well. So support your lower back, press your belly button into the floor. Bring it up. Reverse. Bring it down. Flutter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten. Bring it up. Reverse. Bring it down. Again, press belly button into the floor. Try to get rid of any um, anything here, any cave here. <laughs> There's, yep, yep, that's all I can think of. Cave. Good job, Kat. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. No bats should be able to fly under you, is what I'm saying. Space. That's it. Space. If you need to, you can always bend the knees. Stick with these reverse crunches and take the flutter kicks out. That's cool too. Bring it up. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay. So we're going to flip it around. One Superman, two swimmers. Again, in the lower back, it's part of the core. Super important to strengthen, especially if you have a lower back. Um, if you have a desk job or something. So lift. Bring it down. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift. Lift. Do it again. Lift both. You can hold it for a few seconds if you want. Bring it down. Keep your neck nice and neutral. 
Lift. Bring it down. Lift. Woo. And up. And 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 up. And up. Good shot, guys. It's your last move of the day. Let's repeat this or do another strength workout. Which is cool too. And up. And up. Woo! And we are done. It is blinking at me. So, uh, all right, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. If you want to stick around for the cool down, I highly, highly recommend it. Mobility and flexibility is so, so important for recovery and your overall body function. So, stay with me if you want to. If not, please do like the video before you go. Share it with your friends, family, and Facebook, Twitter, etc. And follow me at Cat Moosey Fitness on my Instagram. I post a lot more about like mental health, a lot more about the kind of workouts that I do outside of this, and just like pretty pictures. So, yeah, if you want to join me in. If not, let's do the cool down. Alright, guys, if you stuck around, that means you want to stretch. Yay! Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, and you're bringing your right knee in your chest and palm, and then breathe. Whew, breathe here. New battery! Yay! It's always so exciting seeing a full battery. This what could be more satisfying? And breathe. <laughs> Go ahead, bring that right knee out. <sighs> oh yeah. Nice job. Opening up those hips, make sure you're really relaxing those legs. And bring it across the body. Breathe, get that nice twist in. Go ahead, bring it back to center and down. Let's bring the other leg in and breathe. And you can just realize what you did today and how awesome it is that you did this workout. And it's hard for some of you to really just like fit in any kind of workout into your schedule because you're tired from work and you have a bunch of stuff going on and it's getting dark early, it's cold, but you showed up and you did it. And just remember how amazing you feel. Go ahead, bring it out. So even if you can only fit in like a 10 minute workout, if you can only do half this workout, you came back, do the other half, that's awesome. You still moved around and appreciated your body for what it can do for you, which is so, so important. Go ahead, bring it across the body. And unfortunately, very rare these days that people really take the time to realize how awesome their body is. And go ahead, bring it back to center and down. Let's roll over onto our stomach. Hands by the chest. Press back onto the knees. And then sit back. Child's pose, relax the neck. And go ahead, walk the hands back to the knees. Now if you can stay here, go for it. If you need to go pretzel leg. That's cool too. But yeah, I'm going to do that. It feels right. It just feels right. Alright, from here, relax your neck entirely. I know a lot of you are coming from work and stuff, so I want to make sure we get those neck muscles and traps and stuff. So again, relax your neck entirely. Take that right hand, bring it to the left side of that neck, or the head, and pull. Pull to the right. Breathe. It might be super tight. And you can move your neck. Make sure you stay on that right side. You can move your neck. Where you find that it's super tight, and then just stay there and breathe. And once you feel ready, go ahead and release slowly. Slowly. Alright, let's go to the other side again. Relax and tiny. Like on this side, I don't feel as much here like I did on the other side, but I feel it more here. So it might be different for both sides. Slowly release. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Alright, let's bring those knees together. Wrap them around you. Curl the toes with me. You push your hips back. Straighten out your legs. Get the hamstrings. Relax that neck. Breathe here. Whew. Slowly, slowly roll it up. Four, three, two, one. Roll the shoulders. Whee! And go ahead, clasp the hands. Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up, exhale, sparkle, 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 
We have done it today! Yay! Roar! We did it, you guys did it. We completed our crazy strength workout for the day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Please do like this video before you go and then share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really, really helps me out. Um, let me know in the comments below if you did this workout once, twice, uh, if you roared all the way, if you liked it, if you want to see more of these, let me know, let me know. And then don't forget to follow me at Catpoopsie Fitness on my Instagram. Uh, I like to post all of the things about like mental health, pretty pictures, and then um, like what I do in my workouts besides this. So yeah. And if you do want to support my channel, I do have a link below. It really helps me out. Uh, so I appreciate all of that. I really, really do. But it's not necessary to do to kick booty with me. All right, I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing rest of the day. Roar.